Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon on the Mysterious JG. Did do a little bit of switching of gear off screen. This may come back to bite us. I gave both Eri and uh, Ichiban the Bracelet of the Four Gods item, which increases, basically makes you immune to all status ailments. I don't think that counts knockout effect. But it reduces defense by 50. In Ichiban's case, it takes him from 553 to 503, which is, you know, he's always a little behind uh, Adachi, now he's further behind. Eri goes down to five, 473, which feels bad, but she's still ahead of Nanba. For uh, Adachi and Nanba, I gave them each, I took away something and gave them the Courage Pendant, which makes you immune to fear. Um, I just remember the boss uses fear a lot. I don't know if that was necessarily the smartest thing to do. Um, because we're not at the boss yet. But... We'll see. Yeah, I, I was hoping there was an item that only protected you from mental status ailments and not physical. Which wouldn't have a negative effect or that I might have more of. But uh, there isn't. So now we got to get to the end of this floor. And if we do so we get our MPs back, which is going to be important. I wonder if we should use some MP restoring items anyway. The, the irritation is having to go buy more of these, because some of these restore very few. Bottle of Saki, I can probably remember. Oh, so good. So good. Delicious. Problem is you can't be using too many of these in a row. Because I think even outside of battle, using them could get you drunk. Alright. It's another one where maybe I should have thought about. You sure you want to hurt? This would have been a good battle to uh, consider the specific powers of these enemies. Oh, they are slightly drunk. Damn. Just that little bit made them slightly drunk, huh? Just drinking one bottle of sake. Maybe I want to go for something okay, else, like, uh, um, instead of, man, eh, Melodorous Stench is kind of my opening move. Both of them will be using attacks at some point. Not always going to be use fire magic, I guess. Okay, we paralyzed the flash mobber. Let's beat him while he's down. That didn't do that much. Come on. His attack rose. And he claimed to be paralyzed, but it was bullshit. He was lying about his paralysis. He's Peter Stillman. It's still nice that we did that because apparently he got multiple turns there. Let's try some ice on you, buddy, because you're a fire enemy. You want to go? That is his weakness, whether or not it was worth trying. Do hast me. Let's try for the uh, double hatchet. Yeah, it seems physical is the way to go here. But that can include uh, paralysis prongs. Yeah, here we go. Are you sure you want me to kick you in the nuts? So I'm up for it. <laughs> Come on. 
All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one, unless that uh, flash marber pulls out some weird uh, techniques we weren't expecting. So close, but not quite finished off. Yeah, I don't think a... Uh, Maybe I should have left him for Namba to finish with a physical, because Namba can get some 8 MPs back. But I probably need to be a little bit more careful than that. As far as getting the most out of each turn and not thinking per se about um, MPs, but doing damage. Back in the game. Okay. Let's go! Oh, what a jerk! Yeah? I was figuring I would at least get some MPs back, but no. Come on now. I'll show you. You'll see. So. Steven Richards theme in the WWE. Let's go. You sure you want to get hurt? All right, now I can get some enemies back. Paralyzed guy is not going to dodge you. Maybe I could have done something better with uh, a Ichiban on his turn, but... I'm really hoping to get... Um, take advantage of the paralysis state to get some MPs back for Nanba, at least. He's always going after Aerie, but he is a flash mobber, so I suppose that makes sense. I'm really just trying to get his evade is too freaking high. He's really just trying to use him to get some MP back for Namba. To avoid Namba having to get drunk to get his MPs restored. Somebody finish it. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So we go to Psycho for our between battle healings. I think I'll do another fight without. Well, you know what? A little bit of drunkenness at a time is probably the way to go here. It works. Not bad. So they just each have one item. Um, they won't get full-fledged drunk, and they can work through the drunkenness. That little meter that looks like a bottle will appear. Could we get by these guys if we know because we can't cut over here in any kind of way? Let's go. Mysterious men. They do tend to get the first attack like every time. It's getting old. <sighs> Shop. 
They, neither of them is weak against it, so... Still, though, Paralysis Tongs seems to be my best thing to do with Namba most of the time. Just because it has a chance of inflicting Paralysis, and it does physical-type damage. And he was silenced, so... No, she has to heal. I was co hoping I could use the turn to get rid of the silence on uh, Adachi, but she's going to have to heal because the enemy's got a turn next. Peacocking? Okay, well, I'm glad they wasted their turns. Let's see if these guys happen to be weak against fire. Uh, Juggalo is. Yeah. Yep. Sure He's lost now. all of his techniques. I wouldn't underestimate. Right. Now just waste a turn. Let's get rid of. Um, Sleep stun, brainwash, and charm, but not silenced. Let's go. This is physical ailments. I don't know if that's silenced or not. It isn't. That was a waste of a turn. What is it? You know what, Juggalo is causing us more trouble. So let's keep up with the fire attacks that hit all. Dachi can use skills again. Get serious. You sure you can beat me? Oh, damn it, he's going to target Nanba. I was really hoping he wouldn't. Oh, he's doing whatever the hell that is. So that's alright for us. You sure you want to get hurt? Really would like to get paralysis applied. That's what I'm thinking about using an MP draining skill. I don't think I can uh, afford to waste the turns. Final Atomic Heat Buster! was well positioned, even though he turned to face us right before we did it. You'll see. Should have considered using her turn to finish this guy off, but... He didn't end up doing that much. Really, I, I hope you enjoy it. Me. I'm not being facetious. Come 
almost use this turn to do ice damage. Because uh, our strongest defense guys are the ones who've taken a little damage, and they've only taken a little. Maybe she can actually attack. Got away with it. Oh, he's going next, though. Crap. So we need to do... Um, Fearless Resolve. Just to survive, just in case. Oh, fuck me! No! Oh, he's a, okay, he's level 55, Yakuza. Okay, that makes a big difference in how worried I am. I figured if he, if he summoned a level 99 enemy, I was going to be uh, very upset. Oh man, I thought I could just farm him for MP. You'll see. What the hell is going on with no one, no one being able to hit the level 55 guy? We were all at level 99. Like nobody can hit him. I want to farm him for MP. Which I just did. This guy really does seem to be immune to paralysis, but hope springs eternal. Weak. Weak. Maybe I should try a bullet of honor. I believe that probably did more damage than Ice Spreader. It's hard to say. They both do lots of relatively small hits really rapidly. Next turn. She doesn't. Super dangerous dude does. Adachi, I don't want him dying or anything like that, but he does have. Oh, Peppermill Blow. That's actually one that I remember hearing is useful because if you lower their accuracy, you might occasionally have them miss. Of course, you could just miss. That was the one thing I was really hoping would not happen. Um, because I knew, I knew, um, a do um, Ichiban would survive a blow and he wouldn't. So the one thing I really didn't want to have happen was Adachi go down, and it did. She has secrets too, you guys. Thank you. Haven't seen Essence of Pigeon Migration in a while. Maybe that's going to be better. Because I do want to get rid of that level 55 guy. I kind of wonder if... Keeping him around reduces the chance that guy summons even more reinforcements, but... serious. Oh, yeah. So low on MP. Maybe actually try to suck some out on this turn. Nope. Total waste. Fifty-five guy doing some damage. I wouldn't Get serious. What about vampirism as a career? <laughs> Going in. 
As far as you would hope. Okay. I got this. You're done. They are done. I'll break up for Zhao. It's, it's not like bad news or anything, but okay. We need something that's going to do. Yeah. We need to just figure out where items like this are located. Turner Plus. Like, what are the actual stores for buying these and visit them between uh, missions? That's really what this is going to come down to. Although I say that, if I clear this out, I am not going to do it again. And if I don't clear this out, I am forced to go to a save before we attempt it. So, I really don't have to worry about being ready for multiple runs. Here's an odd conundrum. Which of these paths is better? Because they both... I guess I just come up here looking for loots, but there's no... It, I'm not going to be able to use it to avoid... Uh, combat. Oh, never mind. It's purely a loot room. I got confused. I thought there was a... A way out over here but there isn't it's just a gap but it's still a wall it's a gap in this sh like shelf so it doesn't really mean much of anything for our purposes oh this was stupid of me I almost um, jumped into the next battle without healing which is not really a mistake you can afford to make around here But I just got done saying I, I don't need to be stingy with these items. It's only there's only so many levels of this dungeon. Um, Ichiban Shoyo. I mean, I am healing. I only got one battle. I got to get through like this. No, there's no way to sneak around them. Battle zone. He said the battle zone first. Still a stamina X, that's no good. I'm really glad that didn't work. Better, Kurt. Feel better, Kurt. All right. Um, You're in it it's now. tough to tell whether Melodorous Stench is really helping. But I have to hope it is. And we got to get rid of Scarred Yakuza. Both of these guys traditionally take forever to eliminate, but Scarred Yakuza, he has the ability to summon people. That makes these things take a million years. Actually, you know what? Let's just go straight to... Uh, okay. Hyper Swagger. No, not Hyper Swagger. I mean, uh, Fearless Resolve. Let's just get that applied. Because it is basically a status that will hang out for the fight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Defense down isn't good. I don't like that. Now he's bleeding. I wouldn't underestimate me. I'm in there. Watch this. Oh, Nature's about to get furious. Well, we oh, paralyzed the Undertaker. That's probably good. Adachi himself is next. You sure you can beat me? Oh, we're going to want to use Die Hard uh, Skewer with Adachi next turn. 
because he's got really low hit points. It does a lot of damage. Perfect. That went really well. We could have gotten really unlucky there. Like, Adachi came so close to dying because I forgot about... I don't know if he took damage from doing the attack or if it was just the bleeding effect. He came really close to dying, but he did a lot of damage there. Let's see if we can either paralyze him or prolong the effect on Undertaker. Okay, that's not doing well. Gotta do something about this. I think there was something sure that does better if you're bleeding. This skill is more likely to stun when Adachi has high remaining HP. Okay, let's try this one. Now he's fully healed up. You sure you can beat me? Right. Did it wrong, but. Huh? Ah, too weak. You sure you want to get hurt? Oh, come on, he should miss because of his stupid attack attempt. Uh, guy's dying all over the place. At least uh, Aerie's going on the next turn. It doesn't look like Soul Tether... I probably shouldn't be saying this because I'm tempting fate, but... Soul Tether, it looks like it might actually have a 100% success rate, whereas the hero skill-based one... Uh, definitely misses sometimes. We, just, we are dodging bullets by that thing constantly not, um... That summon help skill not working. Oh, fuck, man! All we had to do was have him not attack Eerie. That was the only thing that we really couldn't have happen there. Go with an item. There's gotta be something that restores all hit points. And it's a up from being drunk. Yeah, we don't have I we don't have elixirs. We don't have items that just give you all of your hit points. It's just ones that do Yeah, this isn't gonna work very well. Greatly restores an ally's HP. We have to hope this is enough. Take your best shot. I guess that has to be Eerie. Yeah, I was about to say, I can see every- I can't see this character, but I can see everyone else, so it has to be Eerie, right? That wasn't really that effective. His healing skill isn't that great anymore. So we got Adachi down. This battle is being... ...pretty nasty here. We did have items that restored people with full hit points. It might be time to sure break into those. Alcoholic gas ball. I 
don't think this is... I don't think they're going to be that useful to us. We might want to save that for the last battle. The revive with full MP and full HP. That's like a Mega Elixir. Or Mega Phoenix Down or whatever. Yeah, I think I want to hold... We only got six. But let's hold on to those for the final... The final boss battle here. Guys, fallen ally with half. We only got ten of those. I wouldn't underestimate me. Half is probably enough. Got him, Okay. The question now is, do I want to? boost up Adachi, or try to get something applied. Let's just boost up Adachi. This battle is taking forever. All these fights take forever. Back up did arrive. Level 44. You son of a bitch! So many fucking turns in a row! Ugh. Yeah, the number of turns in a row is just kind of ridiculous here for these guys. I don't know what to do about that. Because even at even when I was my most OP, like, everybody seemed to get a turn, and then maybe I would get have, have a character get two turns before they got their next turn, but that was about it. What I just find so freaking strange is that she's the one character who can't revive anybody. I guess we'll do this and hope that Namba survives. But Namba at half hit points is not really going to survive anything at this point anyway. So I just have to hope this guy doesn't attack Namba regardless. Okay. I wouldn't underestimate me. Weak. Come on now. Really, I'm hoping that, um, I haven't come up with a good way to hurt this guy, but I'm really hoping that Undertaker is stunned on his turn. Undertaker's... Oh, it just missed. Fuck! Everything is automatic death to everyone. Got to get through this shit, and I can suddenly get all my stuff back. Oh, I don't need to do that. I can do Soul Tether. I've got to get Scarred Yakuza off the field. He's the worst. Undertaker's pretty bad, but Scarred Yakuza is the worst. Okay, Ares got the next turn, so I can concentrate on damage. Maybe Ice! Okay, Ice is his weakness. It still doesn't do that good against him. Should have given everyone more MPs. Shocking amount of damage being done by that asshole who's level 44. You're in it now. I guess I gotta heal Aerie. Not getting any chances to do any damage, though. struggling here. Let's go back to, um, was a diehard skewer, because that did a lot of damage, and now we're in a position where we're really hurting. Damn it. 
Yeah, that left him with five hit points. You sure you want to get hurt? Don't get cocky. Um, I wouldn't underestimate me. I think I have to hope that um, pound mates might be a good idea. I think I have to kind of hope that um, Scar uh, Undertaker doesn't attack our new friend here. Say a word of a serious weapon chop when arrived to test out his newly sharpened saber. Lacerates all enemies and may cause bleeding. So I'll give it a shot. Oh, and we got a new uh, bonus for it as well. Or, uh, Part time hero, uh, Ziggy. I've come for fresh meat, nothing personal. The dog's meat, have you seen it? Alternate joke. Ah, uh, fresh meat. I guess I could be using, uh, pound mates a lot more now that I think about it. I got lots of money. Koska sometimes doesn't have anything great to do on his turn. Perfect. All right, that was perfect. These videos are all starting to go long now because these battles take forever. And if you're in one when it's time to end the video. Yeah, everybody's going to be really short of MP. We kind of got as far as we were going to get without having some uh, MP healing here. Cool. Who are you going to call? Oh, but I got to go through like four. Yeah, I can't just spam them because you got to go through. Well, let's see. Right now it says counter four. So do I have to do four battles before I can use them again or... You will occasionally do they don't work nights. Get serious. Uh, no, I think I can't just use pound mates every turn. I should use one that I don't care about too much just to see. Does this counter go from four to three in within a single battle? Oh, restores yeah. the party's MP? No, I should be using that, but not right this minute. Take your best shot. So this will basically... I'm basically using this fairly weak pound mate. First one we get. Well, the second one we get, maybe. As a uh, experiment to see if using pound mates in battle... If it's, I now need to win four battles before I can use that uh, blade guy again, or I just need to have four turns or four something else. Because if not, I gotta basically save a lot of Palmates to use at the end. So we're probably, yeah, we're not that far into this. You are going to take care of yourself eventually. I need to focus on The Undertaker. Oh, thank goodness. Didn't really get to check my pound mates counter, though. Um, we have another one more battle before we can uh, recover MPs. So... Plant growth stuff will not help us here. Good. So 
Oh, good. Mm, tasty. So I'm going to need to call it a video. Um, I'm just basically trying to make sure I don't forget to do some of this stuff before we call it a video. But when we come back next time, we got one more battle before we get a healing break. Um, since we know that, uh, what's his name? Um, hero of the previous Yakuza games is right before you fight the final boss. The fact that we beat, uh, we might be like a third of the way through. We might be less than a third of the way through. We're more than a quarter of the way through. And it's time to hit the town. Anyway, folks, when we come back next time, hopefully we'll have a normal length video, but we will be fighting our way through the final, the true final Millennium Tower.